Hey guys, what's up? This is how to dye fabric pink in five steps using avocados. Yay. Typically when you are dyeing naturally, you want to use natural fabrics also. Fabrics made from fibers from plants like cotton or linen or hemp or fabrics made from animal fibers. And that's just because those types of fibers naturally have um, a hollow inside, so the dye gets stuck in there and it stays in there. There are a lot of fabrics that are made from plastics, like polyester, that really just don't soak up these natural dyes very well. I've chosen to go with a few white shirts that I'm not totally sure if they are made from natural fibers. It feels like they're made from cotton, but um, there's a bit of stretch to it, so it could also be polyester. I'm willing to experiment with them, and we'll just see what happens. I'm also using this linen fabric, which I know is made from natural fibers. You guys can also see what um, the dye with the proper <laughs> fabric will look like. Usually you would treat your fabrics beforehand um, with something called mordant, which basically it acts as a way for the fibers to bind with the dye to make it super permanent. I don't have <laughs> mordant on me, so we're just gonna see what happens without it. Once we've identified our fabric, we're going to soak them for a while. I'm gonna soak mine for a few hours and fingers crossed. So I've boiled some water and I'm now going to pour it over my bowl of all of my fibers. The heat of the water is just going to more quickly open up um, these fibers so that the dye can soak in well. So I've been collecting um, these pits over the past few months and I've kept them by putting them outside so that they get all dry, um, but you could also put them in the freezer. I also read that you can use the skins of the avocados to get the same result. Basically the more of the surface area of the avocado pits or the avocado skins that you use, the more dye that you are going to be able to extract. I'm just going to take a hammer to them and <laughs> crush them up a little bit so we get some more pieces. There's a bunch of avocado pits in here and I'm just gonna try to cut them down a little bit. Whoa! But now that we have chopped up our avocado pits into finer bits, we're going to add them into boiling water. Typically with this step, you would measure about half of the weight of the fabric that you're using to boil. With natural dyes, even if you do measure it, you never really know what you're going to end up with, and I think that's part of the fun in it, so wing it if, wing it if you want. I filled my pot to about halfway and added in all of the crushed up pits. After boiling for about an hour, the Water has become this really nice deep red color. I put in my shirts that have been soaking for about two hours and you can already see that the fabric is starting to turn this really light um, orangey pink color and we're going to leave this in the bath for about another hour or so um, and just keep an eye on it. This is what the fabric um, the color has turned into so now we're just going to um, wash these with soap and water and hang them up to dry. It actually works you guys this is how the tank top turned out. Um, yeah I'm really happy with it. This is the t-shirt. I'm gonna have a whole new wardrobe of light pink <laughs> clothing. This is the natural linen fabric. It's a really similar color to what I got with my two shirts. I thought that it would be 
a cute bandana to wear outside um, during coronavirus times. Also, after you're done dyeing your clothing, save the avocado juice because you can water your plants with it. The juice has alkalines in it and your plants really like that. So they'll perk up. Catch me in a all pink avocado outfit. <laughs>